It's a lot of weight to carry, 11 pounds. Secondly, second limitation is the bulk. This system, I will tell you, and I'm not going to demonstrate it here, but I will tell you, it does not compress well. Okay? This synthetic insulation does not compress well. Um, it says in the online marketing that when you put it all together with this stuff, with this stuff sack, that it will compress to one foot, one cubic foot. Uh, don't believe it. This, this is this bag is about two and a half feet long. It's about a foot and a half wide. It's a ve it's basically an extra large stuff sack. And its official name, by the way, is the stuff sack compression. I'll include uh, the NSN numbers for all these items. Um, uh, in the accompanying text of the video. And by the way, before I forget, I'll just give you the official names of this. Uh, this is the Modular Sleeping Bag Intermediate Cold Weather Type 2. Okay, and the bivy is the bivy cover. Yeah, the bivy cover. That's just what it's called. Okay? These are all, recently, in recent years, these, these, this system has been uh, manufactured for the military by a company called Ten Year Industries, uh, but like all military contracts, uh, they'll likely be made by different companies over the years. Back to the stuff sack. This is the most recent version of the stuff sack. It has three uh, uh, lateral or circumferential um, compressible nylon straps. It has additionally six additional straps around, vertical straps around the outside. Uh, it's it's a good size. It's a good size bag. And like I said, this is the newer version. Earlier versions, I believe, had... Um, so this is nine straps total. Earlier versions, I think, had six straps total, and I'm not sure exactly what the arrangement was. Uh, it's a heavy-duty uh, nylon compression stuff sack. There's not a lot to say about it. It's uh, sturdy. It's not going to fail you. It's not going to tear. Uh, but it does weigh, like I said, uh, nearly a pound on its own, just over 14 ounces. When, so like, like I said, this, is, this whole system is designed to compress to one cubic foot, but you're lucky you know, if you can get it to about one and a half cubic feet. So it's quite large. It's not the kind of thing that uh, I would advise carrying inside uh, a backpack, unless it's an extremely large backpack, you know, uh, like the Gregory Denali Pro or something. Um, so it's really got to be on the outside of a backpack. Just be aware of that. The one other limitation, the third limitation that I'll mention of this system, actually relates to the bivy itself. The bivy is awesome. It's, it's Gore-Tex. It's going to keep out the weather. It's going to keep you dry. And it will, also has, uh, it will also keep you slightly warmer. It does have some insulative properties. However, this is, has, it, like most bivvies that you would find uh, made commercially, it has no frame to hold up, you know, to keep a little, keep a little room above the head, keep 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 the fabric off your face, and uh, it does have a tendency the fabric to fall, you know, to uh, within a very close distance of your face. That results in uh, a, a slightly stuffier sleeping experience, and unless it's actually raining actively hard all night. Most users, I believe, will want to roll back uh, you know, the top of the bivy to keep their faces exposed. Uh, a, there is a small, uh, about four square inch Velcro tab uh, here to, to close the bivy cover to keep it secure. That's, that's about the gist of what I want to tell you about the bag, or the system. Now I'm going to talk about purchasing considerations. What to look for if you decide to purchase this system. First of all, look for the NSN numbers and these NSN tags. This is what I'm talking about. These, every, mil every um, authentic military surplus item will have a tag like this one, like this one, with information. And the, no the key piece of information on that tag is the national stock number, NSN number. Uh, it's because that. Uh, military gear is, is contracted out and is made by uh, private manufacturers and, and those manufacturers vary from year to year. Uh, the military uses a, the system of the NSN numbers to keep track of, of, of what is what. Um, so manufacturers vary but the NSN numbers will not. Avoid uh, you know, quote unquote mil, mil spec knockoffs 
uh, you know, or, or uh, yeah, avoid those because they're not going to have the, the, the NSN numbers. Secondly, color and the colors and patterns may change, and I believe, in fact, that they already may have changed. Um, I believe that the newer versions of this bag are not using the woodland camo, but I believe are using the digital camo. I may be wrong about that. Additionally, the covers, uh, the colors of these, uh, of the of the uh, insulating bags, also changes. However, the basic design does not. Uh, it's still going to be a waterproof, windproof, weatherproof uh, Gore-Tex modular sleep system. That is ultimately uh, the 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 concept of sleep systems that the military is working with right now. So colors and patterns may change. Um, basic functionalities will not.